Hello, Chris. This is Todd Wilson from NationLink Wireless. I trust you had a happy new year and you're back at work and ready to attack the new projects. We are going to use the same process for explaining what we're looking for on the i365 box as we did with the i335 box. The, uh, the first few points are, uh, are very easy, um, so I'm going to start off with a few of these. We do not need the logo on the uh, top of the box in the, in the pictures that you sent us of your original drawing. You've got Nation Link on there. We do not need that. Um, you can place it. Um, you can put our Nation Link like you did in the bottom of the 335 box. That's fine. But we don't want the logo on the top of the box as is pictured in your diagram. Um, we also need the, uh, the ventilation, which you do show in your original drawing that you sent us. That needs to definitely be there as in the 335 box. And it also needs to be made with the high temp nylon material like the I-335. What we feel like we want to do with this box is have it in the same design as the I-335, the two-piece that meets in the middle. Um, we want the same latch type as uh, in the top on the 335 box so that it simply goes in like that just like you got it and the same closing mechanism latch on the bottom. The difference uh, in your original drawing, you've got the charge cable coming out the center, which makes sense based on where the uh, charge port is on this, but we want to change that. We want to have the charge port come out on the left side, just like you have on the I-335 box, and that's going to require uh, designing enough width in the, uh, in the bottom section of the box to have the cable be crimped around like that and come out on the left side of the uh, of the box just like you have on the 335. Um, the other thing that we do not need is um, any of the holes like you have on the 335 box and you've also got holes um, in your drawing, your original drawing uh, that you sent us. So no holes on the side. So the same top latch, the same bottom latch, the cable, charge cable outlet on the left side of the, uh, of the box. Now the thing that's going to be different on this, we're looking to have a simple lock mechanism at the bottom right side. So the concept being that, again, the charge cable coming out on the left, locking in place in the center, but building into the uh, right side a lock mechanism to where we could take you know, a simple lock lever, a uh, type of lever that would be worked with um, a key and it doesn't necessarily have to be a metal key. Our thought is that, and this is obviously very crude drawing, but possibly something that's part of the mold, the top mold, the bottom mold, um, a, a key out of the same material that could be inserted um, and again, this is very crude, but turning something inside and locking a lever or using a lever to lock that box in place. Um, you know, we need to, uh, to kind of use our uh, imagination on this. Um, I've seen, you know, even in kids' toys or little kids' banks, they've got very inexpensive locks. It's not that it is, you know, to be break-in proof, but something that's just going to lock that, uh, those two pieces in place top to bottom. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll need your, your thoughts on that. Another addition that we want to do on this box, in the top cover where the window opening is, um, there's a, a raised section here. On the 365 box, uh, we want to be able to, uh, we want you to create a window shield that would fit over the raised edge here so the dimensions would be um, just on the outside of this raised edge here 
a shield that if a client requests that of us, we could place that shield over there and just simply tack it in with a little glue. So we would want one of those windows as a part of the mold uh, for each one of these um, should we need to have that. So again, this um, window dimension on the 365, we want it exactly the same as the 335, and then the shield would be molded so that it would uh, completely fit over this uh, raised edge here, and we could just uh, put it in place with a little bit of glue. Um, another feature, since the Motorola does come out with new phones from time to time, we would like to be able to uh, use the same base for future molds uh, and basically then have to base, or just have to change the top mold to, to maybe conform a little bit different to uh, a different configuration of, of the phone. So that's another thing that we'd like to keep in mind. Um, right now we want to start with just the full conceal. We also do want to go with a semi-conceal for the i365, but want to get through the uh, full conceal first. We will need um, drawings with as many details in those drawings as possible, as soon as possible, so that we can uh, review those and respond back with other videos or via email. Uh, we will need a sample made up. Um, like we did for the uh, 335 and the uh, original uh, 355, which you, you made up samples for us. Um, I also need, as soon as possible, mold cost. Uh, we need to review um, that, that upfront pricing on that. We need that mold cost as low as possible. Um, and again, we need that as soon as possible. And um, I will... Uh, finish up this. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else at this point. So we appreciate your work on this, Chris. And again, this is uh, a project that we need to move along uh, with very quickly. Thank you, Chris, and have a great day.